Welcome to Virginia City, where the Wild West lives again. Hey, hey guys, I'm, I'm trying to film a program right here. Can you please keep it down? <laughs> and where the good guys always win. Don't worry, he's alive. That's Lee McKechnie, creator of the Virginia City Outlaws, a Wild West comedy stunt show. Here, let me help you up. I do all right? Yeah, you did pretty good. Not too bad. <laughs> Totally to believable. <laughs> I'll get you old for this. Lee and his cast of cowboys have been entertaining crowds at this Virginia City theater for over 20 years. Howdy, folks! How y'all doing today? We're gonna draw a line in the sand right here, and if you guys cross that line, I'm gonna shoot you for your safety. <laughs> What are you doing? You can't shoot the tourist. Why not? It's tourist season. It is tourist season. Uh, how about this? You just shoot one, but make it look like an axe. Okay, you're an accident! It's okay, my dad called me that too. <laughs> They get a lot of visitors from around the world. Yes. They don't all speak English and such. So we had to put together uh, what we call the international language, uh, which is stunts, comedy, pratfalls, that kind of stuff. I made it! <laughs> we got a lot of kids, we got a lot of older folks. We got folks that remember the old westerns like the John Wayne movies or the old TV series like Gunsmoke and such. And our favorite series, of course, right here from Virginia City, Bonanza. Uh, that was shot mostly at the Ponderosa Ranch about half an hour from here. These. Okay, let's see. Impressive. Okay, here we go. Two good. Our theme is the good guy always wins, uh, no matter what. He gets a round of applause, he gets the claps and the whistles. A lot of laughter, a lot of audience participation. Yeah, I know you guys got brought on stage, and the crew didn't even tell me. No idea. Surprises. So many surprises. Right, you did great too, by the way, in that fast draw competition. So what is your favorite part about Virginia City? I just like pulling into it. It sets you back like in time. Like stepping back, yeah, exactly. Step back in time. That's yeah. exactly what exactly. I was gonna say, it yep. really is. And also the tourists that come here, uh, come here with a smile on their face. They're here for a good time. And the Virginia City Outlaws certainly deliver. So you're walking the streets of Virginia City and you're craving a nice cold beer. Well, the Bucket of Blood Saloon is the place to go. The saloon is a little over 100 years old and it's been in my family for the last 92 years. It's always been kind of like the center of focus in Virginia City, and we welcome people from all over the world every day of the year. You're walking into a living museum. Uh, when my grandfather bought this saloon in 1931, it was pretty bare back then, but he and his wife were antique dealers, and so they bought and sold antiques and then ended up decorating the whole saloon uh, with those antiques. And then and my father and mother continue that tradition also. We highlight Western music here, since we are part of the Old West, and we have some of the top entertainment that perform right here. We have David John and the Comstock Cowboys. They've been performing here for 21 years. Uh, they're uh, known all over, they've got a big following, and all of their fans show up wearing Western wear just like the band does. There's been a lot of history here, and people seem to be interested in that all over the world. We get them from all over the world here to see what the Bonanza really was. We try to keep it going. So I was listening to you on the piano, and you have quite the skills. Tell me a little bit about how long you've been playing here. A hundred years. Oh, here. <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, here. I've been playing a hundred years. She is Squeak Steel. She's 84 years old. She's in the Guinness Book of World Records for playing the most songs in a 24-hour period, and that was 1,800 songs. So she's been playing here around 20 years herself. And I'm classically trained. I went to Oberlin, but I could always play by ear, and if I didn't play by ear, I couldn't do this job because people come up and they say, do you know blank? And I'm like, can you sing a few bars? And then 
I can play. So you just play it right there on the spot. No right practice. Spot. You just you just know. It just yeah. comes to you naturally. Yeah. Right. I always say I play 300 years of music. I play classical and some country. I'm more like the old country, old western. Uh, a lot of old rock and roll, like Journey and you know, and Lady Gaga Shallow. Wow. Fancy. I mean, impressive. You really yeah. can play anything. anything that I love. Yeah. I can play. Spirit of Nevada is proudly brought to you by Richard Harris Law Firm. For more information, visit richardharrislaw.com. Watch new episodes of Spirit of Nevada on the channels listed below.